Hi, this is Laura's Sewing School, Laura Workala and Sewing Genius on YouTube. This is my sewing school. And I know it's evening. We're gonna walk right into the door. We share an entryway with the salon and have a bulletin board of a lot of students' projects. And I'm from Minnesota originally, and so there's a Minnesota treadle machine. But I am in the Boston area. And here is my door. And we're gonna walk in and, oh, look who's greeting us. Percy is the black one and Buttons is the red one. <sighs> They're always happy to meet everyone. So anyway, uh, we've rearranged completely here. So we have six, over six feet of space between each sewing station, sewing machine station. There's one, two, three between the bookcases. That's my desk over there. Four past the dress form, and five is way over um, underneath the clothing. Uh, there's a serger in between. And then this is my queen bee sewing station right here. And hi guys, that's Percy. Percy, Buttons. Okay, so you can tell Buttons was named after I had the sewing school. So now we have two big cutting tables. They're nine by five feet. And we have two ironing stations with gravity feed irons. There's one, one station over there and there's a table. I, I have a big paper cutter, which is great for cutting and tiling patterns. And then we've got a nice quilt hanging in the middle of the shop. Hides my other work area. And I can change that out pretty easily too, I think. I just hung that today. Here's a new table skirt on this table. So those who would recognize that. The other ironing board is here with another gravity feed iron. See the tank up there? We have a nice full length mirror so that we can check how something looks if we make clothing. I had a friend put um, an end to that board so the iron couldn't fall off because that happened once. We have a hand sanitizer all over the place. We have hand sanitizer um, at every sewing station. You can't see it, but it's there. We have right here, we have one at every ironing board because people have to sanitize their hands before they iron because we share the irons. And this is my super duper air cleaner, which uses technology from NASA. I have another one coming shortly for the back hallway area. So here we go. Here's a quilt I had in the Northeast Quilters Alliance some years ago. It's got some elephants. I did a workshop with Judy Matheson on, on that. That was really fun. And I love this tree. And there's my dress form. And then we'll just look at this. I do have an AccuQuilt Studio cutter. I made that cover for the cutter myself. Uh, and then I have a ton of dies, lots of strips and squares and then some other shapes. And I've had some dies made, like when we did the ma doing the mask project and everything. This is a quilt here that I made my grandmother some years ago when she went to a nursing home. And she passed away about four, 13, 14 years ago and my mom sent it back to me. And it's just a really cheerful thing to have that hanging in the shop. And then we have a quilt design wall here. Um, and we've got, music we can play, and then there's a project, a collage that, uh, we had a collage workshop of Laura Honey's techniques last year. And then I've been working on a Sue Spargo block of the month, and there are four blocks here, and there's a tuffet with a fun uh, pig from One Yard Wonders books, the Fabric by Fabric. And then we go past our kitchen area, and I won't be offering any refreshments this for at least a year, but that's there because I eat here a lot. And I redid this countertop. I posted it on my Facebook page. It's a butcher block countertop that I decoupage fabric on and gave it six coats of varnish. And then we'll go on here. That's a storage area there. And then I have storage behind here and I put a long curtain to hide the hat. We're gonna go into the bathroom. Now this is where I had a lot of updates done. It has, well, we have these pretty sparkle lights that I made in this kind of tinted room. Isn't that pretty? And the colors match so well with the quilt there. And then you'll watch the light and fan will come on as we enter. And so we have a nice fan up there. And we have lights above and flower garlands. And uh, we have a touch-free faucet now. If you look at it here, this um, this part right here, if your hand is even with that, 
it makes it the water flow. And then we also have a touch-free soap dispenser and a new paper towel holder that you just touch the towel you're going to use. So anyway, so that is pretty much our little tour. And the guys came along to help us. That's their feeding area. <laughs> so anyway, so there's the sewing school and uh, we're starting this week in classes and it's all ready for everyone to come back. Thanks for watching.